Valeria Yehoshina works in war-torn regions of Ukraine. Using a combination of modern reporting tools and old-fashioned legwork, she helps expose war crimes and track down perpetrators, often at great risk. Yehoshina grew up in Odessa, the daughter of engineers. She saw journalism as a way to change the world. In 2016, she joined Schemes, an investigative news project run by Radio Liberty's Ukrainian service. She reports from deoccupied areas after Russian troops have been driven away, piecing together what happened and who did it. In the town of Izum, Yehoshina and her editor uncovered harrowing accounts of torture and murder. Hundreds died there, both civilians and military personnel, their bodies collected by local volunteers and buried in the forest. Чи можна було якось зрозуміти по тілах, від чого вони загинули? Точно знаю, що у них були постріляні голови. The report drew families to the area hoping to find their loved ones through DNA testing. And by analyzing intercepted phone conversations between Russian troops, Yehoshina zeroed in on a commander suspected of some of the killings. That high-impact reporting is part of Yehoshina's trademark. In 2023, her team made global headlines, uncovering a ploy to trick Russians into enlisting for the war. The investigation focused on a phantom mercenary group called Redut, those who enlisted thought they were joining a private military company. But schemes uncovered evidence that Redut was a front for the Russian military. Куди саме куплені квитки? Вони починають розуміти згодом. Using these private military companies gives Russia a chance to say, this is not us. Months after her report, the EU sanctioned Redut for supporting actions they said threatened stability and security in Ukraine. Well before Russia's invasion, Yehoshina had built a remarkable track record uncovering corruption within Ukraine, and she continues to do so during wartime. One investigation exposed how a politically connected private company received more than $40 million in state funding for road maintenance even as the country was running out of funds to rebuild critical infrastructure in harder hit areas. We are trying to stay alive as a nation, as a democratic nation, and government accountability is just a part of it, even if it hurts. With her pivot to war reporting, she faces a challenge even the most seasoned war reporters don't usually experience. Valeria Yehoshina is covering a bloody conflict in her own backyard. I'm talking as an investigative journalist who is investigating mostly war crimes against Ukrainians right now. Every time I do this, I imagine that this is me who could be tortured. Or worst scenario, it could be my mom. This is our lives. It's not only our work, but this is our lives.